Isn't it amazing when nuts and bolts, electronics and a bunch of software are joined to something new, able to create own things? The maker movement is tremendously picking up speed, enabling everybody to build up his own production line in the backyard. Numerous projects offering 3D printers, laser cutters, milling machines and similar devices handle a bunch of different materials. So every day new projects are coming up, pushing out the limits in performance, flexibility, efficiency or even affordability. Most crucial part is the electronic controller board, running the application's firmware and translating the bits and bytes into coordinated motion. Usual Arduino-based solutions are very limited in processing power and memory. Most solutions are based on an 8-bit controller with Arduino firmware, which does everything. It receives G-code from a host computer, which needs to be translated into motion commands by the G-code interpreter. Afterwards, it needs to be optimized by the path planner and finally translated into real-time step direction signals for the stepper motor drivers. That's really a tough job for 8-bit controllers. Okay, so, uh, what's the T-Bone? The T-Bone is a piece of hardware and software for motion control. So it's in the first step a full hard and software stack for driving a 3D printer. Why, why is it called T-Bone? Because it is a um, motion controller board, mainly with dynamic chips, yeah. on base of a beagle bone. There are two main advantages. We are able to get more control in the motion controller chip yeah. and remove burden from normal controls so that we have more time to think about other stuff. More speed, more precision, and faster implementation. Because all this is done in the motion controllers, they keep um, control of the motors, yeah. and the high-level application can deal with the application and not with just moving the motors. So it's based on a beagle bone. So you have a Linux running on the beagle bone with all the I/O functionality of a Linux system, right? So it's easy to have different interfaces. It comes with a web-based user interface. You can do all the settings for a print via the web, and you can upload your designs over the web to the printer, and yeah. The T-Bone concept is different. It's based on a powerful beetle bone with a Linux operating system. Therefore, it's quite easy to create convenient user interfaces. Also, the complex part of the software, like the G-code interpreter or the path planner, are running on the beagle bone. Therefore, the underlying T-bone cape can fully concentrate on the real-time motion control processing and similar activities. Both boards are connected by a serial interface. The T-bone has an Arduino-compatible microcontroller to buffer, receive and distribute the motion commands from the beagle bone to the motion control units, which are creating the real-time signals for the stepper motor drivers. This concept makes it possible to improve performance and usability at the same time. It's magic. We have separated the software and the hardware in three distinct layers. On every uh, layer, it does what it can do best. In the high level, we have Python programming, which is a standard web programming language to have a web interface, to have a motion planning, but we don't have any real-time control, very little real-time control yeah. in Python. Yeah. And this is done by the Arduino. It does buffering, it does real-time control, it has a yeah. next command ready if it is needed for the motion, yeah. and okay. does nothing else. This is also very, very simple. And then we have the motion controllers, which do a lot of complex things, like accelerating the motors, stepping the motors with the right frequencies, uh, having an eye for the end stops, ensuring that the motors are running smoothly, which is really complicated, but this is done in hardware and yeah. this is done for us, and yeah. you don't have to deal with that. Yeah, it's open, that's what I like about it. So it's based on open source, it's developed with open source, and it will go back to the open source. 
it's also funded by the open source, so it's a crowdfunding project, so it's independent. It is the only motorboard known until today which has a T-bone shape and it's open source. Now it's up to you. Support us on Indiegogo and share us with your friends. Thank you.